Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigma here and welcome back to another video. So in this one I'm gonna try to kill Battle Flaps in uh, 6 fights. And that's gonna be a bit problematic, because we have to kill Harley without using Batman the Drowned, because I wanna use Batman the Drowned against this man. And this man is also an iffy situation. We're unlikely to be able to do this, but there's a chance and I'm gonna go for it. Okay, so here we have Dark Melkarts at level 10 on Raven, Joker is Betrings at level 10 on Dr. Fate, and King's gonna have Beta Club. Even with this, uh, it's gonna be a very hard fight here, and unpredictable. I kinda want Dr. Fate to die as soon as possible. And Dr. Fate's getting tagged in. And get by that special one. Taking a long time to die because he's got those resistances on the talents, and you can't remove talents. You can only remove the gears. Okay, no, he was gonna die literally to that jump attack. And Raven, back off. You can't take too much damage. I can't heal you. I mean, I can, but I don't want you to use darkness for that. Okay, already getting some pretty damn decent damage with King. Raven getting tagged in, so we're not gonna lose darkness now. Which is good, but uh, that Dr. Fate is still alive and see, it's not the best thing. Okay, King got tagged in. I really don't want King to die before. Okay, Dr. Fate and nah, that's a King tag and King's dead. Uh, now we have to be very careful with his super move. No, 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 no you don't. Really need to apply Dot to King one more time. I need to get the King tag in where he doesn't die on tag in. That's all I need, all I need. And it's already a bit too much to ask for. Okay, he didn't die, he's not dead. And he somehow blocked that hit and did not die. We got this. I think. Yeah, we got this. The only reason why I got this is because I have such pass high passive stats and we killed him fast. Because each king tagging after this one was most likely gonna be dead. This was very lucky. Over here I'm going to kill both Bane here with League of Anarchy and we're tanking the super move head-on. If there's anything that can tank a Heroic 7 a Berserk boss Bane super move, it's this guy. He's got 80k health plus all the health he receives from the artifacts plus the passive. Uh, this one. So it doesn't get more tanky than this. If this man doesn't survive the super move then there's nothing that could have been done. I mean except for putting a region matrix I guess on one of the characters. By the way, the sound of the game on the first fight was a bit too loud, so I toned it down a bit. Reinstalled the windows, so I had to redo all my settings and forgot to take a good look at the sound side of things, so I'm sorry. My, my bad there. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. We need every single bit of health to tank that super move. And the fact we just took damage there is extremely bad what what oh i pushed him off the stun that's a bug by the way it's been in the game for ages happens not that often we can we can do it like this though i don't have to Tank super move. And I messed up, and we got a tank super move. And he's dead. Uh, yeah. Let's hope Harley with level 10 Dark Mall cards can actually kill this into a class disadvantage. Looks like she might be able to, unless I mess it up. Also, I think the Dark Knight Batman might. Nah, nah, 300k. 300 mil, no. Even with full health, I don't think you would have been able to tank that. Now, this is 
Man, hardly worth depending on you. Also, one mistake and I'm done for. Because he easily one shot me with any special when he's at full power bars. Gonna be a close one. I'm in a league on my own. A crown would have been great on Parley or anything else. No. Oh, that didn't one shot me. Though I lost a lot of time. And now we're not gonna be on Dark Metal cards. Yeah, this is this is not gonna be good enough to kill him. I think. Please give me a Dark Metal card reset. Put it back. Put the Dark Metal card back there. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna get uh, two hits. Two hits. Like, please, please, please. No. Oh, no. It's because I messed up. I messed up the combo interruption once and I didn't kill him. This is terrible. Well... Only 42 mil, too. Yeah, bad bad choices and bad gameplay here. My bad. Well, since we're not gonna get to Batman Flaps, I might as well use Batman the Jaunt. And we're most likely gonna get to Batman Flaps if I use Batman the Jaunt here. But if I don't use her, we're not getting there because there's no other team that I have available that one-shots this. Especially because of that dot resistance. So the plan was to use two fights against her, like... Some percentage shell damage and Joker has better ranks Manta, but now it's pointless because I need to clear Bane too. So we might as well use the good thing, level 10 Dark Mouth cards on Batman. Level 10 Joker... Bro! Level 10 God Killer on Batman the Drowned. Hand of Zatanna on Robin, because I really like that interaction. That makes the enemy not able to do anything. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad here. Yeah, this is why you don't really want to have that effect still active whenever the uh, Robin King passive ends, because if she doesn't have specials disabled, that effect will make her just spam specials. As well, the super move. Oh, the swipe down. The swipe down, obviously. The only time I try to combo in chops in this match, I get it with the swipe down. But the yeah, Arlie's dead would have loved if this was better than Flaps instead. Farley being dead by this team, but it's a fine. Let's move on. There is actually a chance to kill Batman Flaps today. As I always tend to forget nowadays that Batman team is a thing because they've been not working for a very long time and now that they can actually use them I often forget to count for them in terms of oh that's that's an option but for that to be even an attempt and it's not gonna be an easy attempt we need to kill poison ivy here can wait to match her super move not sure Green Mansion was the best choice here because I'm gonna lose the shield fast enough. I thought it was gonna last for much longer because I'm going full types of stats here, like level 10 Joker as Batrings, level 10 Dark Metal cards, and level 3 Hand of Zutana. I think it's level 5 by now. I'm used to it saying level 3, but it's level 5 for quite a while. But it seems like, no, the shield is not 
staying up for long. He deals that much damage. Okay, now let's start dealing some damage back. It's not that big of a problem because I can learn the pattern and the amount of combo I can do on one poison. But I just love the fact that I can't see my poison effect duration, which is the only thing I want to see. The only important thing in this fight is the duration of the Joker is better in poison. But no, um, I have to have a slot occupied to make me aware that she has used super move. But the poison effect? Nah, bro, we don't have room for that, but... Hey, you gotta know about that super move. Extended this a bit too much. Wanted to use the third special, but kind of designed against it because she is immune to stun. And yeah, let's uh, let's. I'm gonna clear Bane off screen, and we're gonna try Batman Ninja Team against Batman Flaps and see how that goes. Alright, so this is not gonna be a good time, and I'm sorry I did not record the Bane cleanup fight because that was a roller coaster of emotion. So against this man here, he, he died, thankfully, despite my best efforts. I put Mr. Freeze, Darkseid, Martian Manter, Darkseid to keep Mr. Freeze safe, and I thought I had Puppet on Mr. Freeze. And then I did like four special twos, and none of them applied any negative effect. And I was like, I forgot to equip Puppet. And then I used Darkseid to deal damage, and then towards the end of the fight, I tagged Mr. Freeze just once to see how much damage he was doing at that point. And right before dying to Bane's super move, he applied the negative effects, telling me that he actually had puppet equipped, but I managed to kill it with Dark Side in like the last few seconds. It was wild. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't record it. But yeah, something even more wild will be if we actually succeed here, because this team is not gonna have a good time here. They have the damage to kill him. Oh, that's that's a great star. That's an amazing star, my dude. Okay, block a bit, and now we spam this. Uh, I don't want to sit on the poison while I spam it. Why did the po Oh, there's a bug, it's still on the ground, still there. See, I'm generating madness, but it's bugged, and you can't see it. That obviously sucks. I guess you can still see as you generate madness and try your best to not be generating madness, but it still sucks. Also, before, each time before I tag Rod, I want to have all the specials disabled against this man. Okay, that's some good damage. Rainiac is sitting in the right spot, he's not building madness. Uh, that's no longer right spot to be in. And now tag Robin to tank the super move. Okay, he didn't die, okay. 20 mil. We're gonna leave it at that for now. Uh, don't sit on the madness, get, get, get away. I'm just spamming special one to get damage against targets, negative effect from puppets. And I actually managed to lose the puppet. Oh, the, the bait club expired, so that makes sense. Oh, that's a good, that's a nice value, that's a nice value over there. Come on, give me more damage against targets, please. Okay, back away from there. And beta club is gone, so we're gonna try our best to reapply it. That's not a good value, that's a good value. Uh, we're sitting on madness, back off, back off, back off. Ooh! This is definitely a rough one. And I don't want to tag Rod because he doesn't have special disables. No. He missed them. He's got blind at least. Oh, that's a good. Never mind. 
We still got the dot going. Okay, Brainiac, uh, he's gonna he's gonna get turned as soon as Madness hits somewhere. Wait, the club is gone. Yeah, I did my best here, and honestly, it went a bit better than I was expecting. But that's as far as we go here, sadly. Might wait a bit on the video and like do the other fights and like put them all together. But this was a valiant effort. Which it would not have come to unless I messed up the League of Anarchy fights. But yeah, be right back on this one. Okay, so now back to killing this man. I'm going to use the Batman Ninja team, which I might regret, but we're going full passive stats here, which means level 10 Joker Ice Bat Rings on Batman Ninja Catwoman, level 10 Dark Metal Cards, and level uh, now 6 Hand of Zatanna. I think the next time the story comes around, I'm gonna get that to level 10. Okay, super involved of the way. I can kind of combo and chop him after one hit, but it's not gonna be the easiest thing. Oh boy, the poison. I was thinking that I will kill him before I die to poison, but looks like we gotta back off. Okay, I don't really care about that. He pushed me a bit on the poison, that's something I care about, we can heal. Getting thrown around the field is no problem. I don't want to sit on that poison. Now we just we just can't avoid it, like totally. We're gonna spend some seconds on it, and you can't see it. You just literally can't see it after a bit, which is extremely annoying because it literally disappears. Yeah, I regret using this thing. What was that? He swiped towards me and then swiped back. That's illegal. You can't do that. I can't do that myself. Why can you do that? The AI privilege here. What? What? The poison dropped over here. Over here where I'm sitting right now. That's where the poison is supposed to be. Not there. I saw it when it dropped. The fact that it disappeared. It's irrelevant. I just saw it drop there. Well, Grodd's got Dark Metal cards, I guess. I'll show you. Oh yeah, especially to Disabled. I, I regret my choices so much here. But that poison thing was absolute bullshit. I mean, Grodd is dealing some damage. Gonna eventually die to poison, but it, the best I can do is lock him into an infinite combo here. But that was bullshit. I was not sitting on the poison there. Maybe I wasn't, I missed it. I'll only be able to tell when I rewatch it. But yeah, Batman just think it was a terrible idea. Oh my bad, I was not expecting Grot to instantly die. And take Oh! We got that thing. From the uh, hand of Zatanna. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need one more fight. I, I regret my choices. This is the roughest spot for me when there's very little health, because I'm like, let's use the least amount of resources possible, and then that amount of resources is not enough and he survives. That sucks. Okay, so we got uh, Firebox on Dr. Fate to get an infinite combo and Dark Metal Cards on King to deal some damage and John Stewart and Lantern as a support character because this way we don't have to worry about Madness. Because Madness is a hazard and John Stewart and Lantern disables the hazard secondary effects. Begin. What? I don't have Firebox on this man? No, I do. There we go, I, I must have messed something up. My bad, I guess. 
Uh, though I should go third special into Dr. Fate into third special because the special two can happen and that's eventually gonna kill my Dr. Fates and I don't want him to die because I do love my infinite combo. See, no, no uh, madness build up. I guess we might have been able to kill this with King from like the health he was at without using the Batman Ninja team before. I really have next to no idea how much Dark Mel cards King does without Raven. Because you either use him with Raven or you use him with North Snow Globe. There's rarely a point in using him the way I'm using it now. Okay, that's uh, that's not great. But we're gonna be fine. Yeah, I think I would have definitely been able to kill him from the health he was at before the Batman Ninja fight. Okay, let's take a look at the rewards. Oh wow, we got Armored Superman, that's amazing. Now back to the secondary account, uh, since I list, uh, left this off yesterday over here, and I concluded that I played kind of bad against this man with Dark Malkarts, that Ninja Catman, and if I play better I can kill him, let's, uh, let's see if we can put that to the test. So obviously this... Uh, Has me playing better as a requirement, which is never a guarantee. But I'll do my best. So far, so good. We definitely do enough damage to kill him, if I don't mess up. So I just gotta focus here, so I'm not gonna talk that much during this fight. Okay, we can tank super move here. That's okay, that's... That's starting to not be okay. He got in the corner. Oh, this is bad. Also, there's something wrong with that second special, it should not do that much damage and it should do both damage, not physical. I feel like it's ignoring the fact that we reduced this man's attack by a lot, because it's doing more damage than the super move did. I feel like it's doing all the dot damage, but as physical, and at once, without taking into account anything. Come on, we can do this. Please kill him. Anytime you feel like. Ooh, there we go. That's that. That was played so much better than yesterday, because we did more damage than yesterday with 30 seconds left. So yeah, I'm happy with how this went. Okay, so uh, one of my league mates told me that I don't actually have Armor Pierce on Black Adam. Black Adam. 
I thought I did, but that's the main account Black Adam, so that's why I was not getting the negative effects from his passive. Now we have some. We're gonna try yet again to use Puppet's Revenge. Honestly, don't care that much if Puppet's Revenge works that well here, or he does that much damage. I'm just trying to get a percentage whole damage done and clean afterwards with League of Anarchy, because I don't think League of Anarchy can deal with this from full health. My bad here. Okay, so we need to hit her with a few basic hits. Your madness stops here. To apply the torments. The fact that we got the puppet negative effect that disables all the enemy special sucked balls, because that's the only reason why we didn't get infinite power until now, because we can get one negative effect separately for each special with disable, but because that disabled all of them, we couldn't do that. Tag this man back in. And now we just spam special 2 to apply a good buffer of negative effects, so that when we use super move we don't blow everything up. Not when we use super move, excuse me, though we might as well use super move too. When we use the third special. Or at least don't blow them up without Black Adam being able to fix it. Yeah, this is going well. Don't think we're going to encounter that often situations where the revenge is going to be able to stay for very long periods of time in the fights. With Puppet active, I think the Black Adam tagons are going to be more often than previously because we don't have the tag out disabled modifier anymore, which sucks, but it's still working. Oh, we actually lost it and are not able to... Oh, but we, we were. We were able to gain it back by using a bit of Black Adam basics. Yeah, this went well. This went well. Okay, let's uh, let's move on. I'm going to use League of Anarchy here with Puppet on uh, Harley. In order to, with Puppet on Predator Batman, excuse me, in order to be able to get that negative effect. And Dark Metal cards on Harley. Need to be a bit careful with Harley because she lost a concerning amount of health from that um, special one over there. Though she should not get into situations where she takes damage. We should not have any problems surviving this. Yep, all good. The negative effect of plants is a bit slow though.
No damage against target at all until now. Nope, that's not it. This is definitely weird. I literally got everything but that. Now we got it. Now we finally got it. Alright, the cat woke up and he started running around the house. I'm not sure I got the uh, noise filter things on the microphone set up, so sorry in advance. Gonna set them up after this fight though. Oh, I messed up that combo. Hardly could have died so badly there. Yeah, we're gonna kill her though. Very, very unlucky with the damage things. We got only one of them in the second one here where it didn't count. Uh, but yeah, let's move on. This man over here is extremely annoying, so I'm hoping to kill him with... Uh, Raven Twin Blade King, though I don't think I will. Because if I could combo and chop this man, no problem, easy kill. But since we can't really combo and chop it, our damage is gonna get reduced by a lot because of it. Maybe I'll try a few times. If it doesn't go anywhere, I'll just not. Boy, that special one hazard lasts for ages. Trying to stack with King as fast as possible. Getting some good power skills here. Yeah, that's the first combo interruption attempt. And it's it's gonna get me almost killed because he power drained me there. And if I did not have enough power to revive, because you consume power with King when you revive, I would have just straight up died. So yeah, we're not doing that again. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think we'll, we're killing him. We're gonna deal a decent amount of damage though. Super move and then back off and be very careful. Unfortunate. So it's fine. Get his ass back to the corner. Okay, that's that could have been real bad, and it is real bad actually. You better call an auto. Okay, he swiped towards me, that's real good. At least he's not using the power drain special, I guess. Yeah, this was fine, but not not great. Not great. Okay, let's uh, see what else is here available on this tier. Okay, so against this man, I'm gonna try to use percentage all damage. First, I'm gonna do as much as I can with base death stroke because this man has a 25% chance to stun me on Tagen. So I'm just gonna try to rely on luck with the clones and see what happens. Hmm. <laughs> 
We also have Batman Collapse in there to do something if Deathstroke dies horribly. And we have Bane, because we don't have years, so we need to crit to generate power. So Bane's doing that for me. Wanna get the first contact then on a full power bar, so I'm not gonna do anything else. And it didn't get stunned, that's that's great, that's absolutely amazing. Though we take a ton of damage even when blocking, so I don't think combo interrupting him will be an option with the clones. At least not with this one, maybe with the next one if we catch him in a nice corner position. Ah, uh, we can take a few. I think one more. I'm gonna try to get out of this clone as much as I can. Because I never know if I'm even gonna get to use base Deathstroke, because if we get crazy unlucky, Deathstroke gets stunned on tagging and killed, uh, which is not what happens. We were centimeters away from getting stunned again. There's no place to hide. Oh, that's that's a lot of damage, buddy. Now the tricky part, trying to get killed without the clone being stunned on Tagen by a uh, special kill. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. There's not much I can do to try to make that not happen, it's just down to luck. But let's try to deal some percentage health with this man as well. Okay, that's perfect, it swipes towards me. Yeah, overall I would say this didn't go too badly. We got we, we got some decent outcomes out of this fight and it's gonna be left with 700-ish mil damage to be done. Okay. For the last fight I'm going to attempt to clear this with Batman the Drowned. We should have enough damage, like Dark Metal cards, Batman the Drowned should easily deal 700 mil damage here with a le level 7 Dark Metal cards, level 3 and level 1 Dark Metal cards for passive stats, so we definitely got plenty. Okay, 11 mil before super move, that's pretty good. Oh boy. Oh, hazard immunity, I always forget about that, that's... But no, let's stop getting hit by it. Even though it doesn't stun me. No place to hide. But that's from my boy John Sturgeon Lantern. But yeah, the cat distracted me. <laughs> Wait for his super move. And we tag out and hope we don't get stunned on tag back in. Okay, I didn't get stunned, that's great. Yeah, by the way, yet again, use John Sturgeon Lantern against the boss pattern of laps if you need to, because it removes the hazard secondary effects, which means your attackers are no longer gonna get turned. That's honestly quite a low damage increase after super move, I was expecting a bit more. So 
I guess I'm asking for too much. Bro, the cat running around the house again! Ah, uh, it's okay. He, he's got food, he's got water, I played with him a, a bit before. He's just, he's just going crazy and yeah, I messed up this fights. But y'all having said, thanks so much for watching, like that if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and all that being said, I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. Goodbye!